Ooh, what's up, everybody, and welcome to episode 93 of the Stand Up Guys podcast. I'm your host, the incomparable Zach Jones, joined as always by my strange brother from the same <laughs> mother, Lester Jones. What's up, everybody? And of course, it wouldn't be our show if we weren't joined by the ninth wonder, Chocolate Thunder, taking dumpkins and getting blumpkins. <laughs> Step aside the Batman and make way for the scat man. Nothing makes him moan like a rusty trombone. The phenomenal A. Jay, sing. Hey guys, uh, that's quite the impression you're getting of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, the scat man isn't the only hero we're here to talk about. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we just got out of the theater watching Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So we are going to review that for you good folks right now. Time permitting, we might talk a little Moon Knight, but uh, we might save that for next week, just depending on time. Because uh, I think we're going to have some stuff to say about this movie here. Um, so anybody who has not uh, watched or listened to any of our previous reviews, basically we're just going to quickly do a, a kind of spoiler-free uh, impressions, and then we'll get into the, the nitty-gritty and see how much of this movie we can actually uh, remember. Um, all right. So I'm on the old Rotten Tomatoes here. So the official synopsis of this movie is thus. In Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, the MCU unlocks the multiverse and pushes its boundaries further than ever before. Journey into the unknown with Doctor Strange, who with the help of mystical allies both old and new, traverse the mind-bending and dangerous alternate realities of the multiverse to confront a mysterious new adversary. Is it really a mysterious new adversary? Well, kind of. Well, <laughs> um, it stars Benedict Cumberbatch as uh, Dr. Stephen Strange, Elizabeth Olsen as uh, Wanda Maximoff slash the Scarlet Witch, Chiwetel Ejiofor as Baron Mordo, Rachel McAdams as Dr. Christine Palmer, Benedict Wong as Wong, and I'm going to butcher this young girl's name, uh, Zakitel Gomez. <laughs> Well, you got Gomez right. <laughs> yeah, but Whenever, I, I can't correct you. I don't know either. I mean, her name starts with an X. X-O-C-H-I-T-L? That's like Aztec type uh, spelling. I don't know. Yeah, uh, X's can throw me off. <laughs> and the movie it was directed by Sam Raimi, of course, who directed the original Tobey Maguire uh, Spider-Man movies. All right, let's get into it, guys. What were your uh, spoiler-free impressions of the film overall? Uh, the first time I watched it, I came out of it kind of unsure. You know, I, I, I liked it. I liked it, but I was like, are there going to be a lot of plot holes in this movie? There's so much going on. I don't know if it wraps up everything and, like, ties everything together properly. Uh, so there's still – that w word's still out on that. I don't know if it, uh, if it, you know, is perfectly in line with everything in the MCU. But uh, watching it a second time today, I, uh, I definitely liked it a lot. Yeah. All right. It about? stinks. <laughs> no, it was it was, uh, it was pretty good. Pretty good. That's all you got. I'm not giving it excellent. Oh uh, well, I mean, just you don't want to expound on things you maybe like, didn't like a little more. What like, did I like? Like the horror <laughs> element. Like, did that? Rachel McAdams is still a babe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like that Marvel tried a horror movie. Yeah, like, not it's not completely. It definitely horror. had horror elements. Yeah. And, yeah, some of those work pretty well. And I think Marvel has to do that because, like, they they have so many different movies coming out, and they can't all just follow the same formula. Right. That that's one of the reasons I think the MCU does so well is is it, it all kind of tonally works together, but there's a lot of different genres they play around with. Yeah. So keeps things a little bit fresher. Um, yeah, I think I'm in the same boat. Is I I like the movie. Probably didn't love it. Um, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, it is definitely one of those mid-tier Marvel movies. I don't know. Uh, we'll get into it, but um, I think there is a lot to like. But then, like, I don't know how much this movie really affects the universe overall. It does introduce some curious things where you're like, is that going to lead somewhere? But Yeah, I, I think we'll talk about it, but I, I think it will affect things. Okay. Uh, what do you guys just think, like, kind of like overall performance wise do any of the characters stick out to you if you know benedict gumberbatch uh yeah i thought uh the young lady uh who was uh playing uh, america uh, chavez america chavez she was really good you know she had a very expressive face you know she you could, you could kind of feel like you know she was really 
feeling those emotions. You know, like when certain things happened to her, she she expressed it in a way that I felt like, yeah, a young person going through all this stuff could really, you know. Yeah, she was a likable character. Yeah. The only thing is, is she she mostly functions as kind of like a plot device. Yeah. So hopefully, like going forward, you know, she'll be used <laughs> a little. Bit. I think I think she will. Yeah, yeah. Based yeah, on she where wasn't the story super ends. fleshed out, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like, did to give a little bit of backstory? Yeah. Um. All right. So yeah, sounds like we all, uh, to varying degrees, like the movie. Should we get into spoiler country, guys? Let's do it. Okay. Now, AJ, you you're the only one of us that's seen the movie twice, so you're you're gonna be the guy that's gonna fill in all the <laughs> things. I'll <laughs> try. I also smoke a lot of weed, guys. <laughs> anyway, we uh, we open in a uh, in a kind of abstract landscape that we later find out is kind of like an area between the multiverses. Uh, there's an alternate dimension version of Doctor Strange alongside this America Chavez, who we're just like, boom, introduced to him. Uh, they're running from a monster that's trying to kill them. They are trying to get the book of Vishanti, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, because supposedly it can uh, kill this creature that's after them. After them. Unfortunately, this creature, like even though Doctor Strange, uh, you know, tries to contain it, it starts to get loose. And he's like, in his mind, the only way um, he's going to, like, be able to stop this creature from, like, getting her power so it can, like, travel the multiverse is if he basically takes her power for himself, which apparently is going to kill her. But he starts to do that anyway. But then, like, the monster gets loose and it interrupts Strange, like, you know, taking her power. And she ends up uh, basically getting away that strange ends up dying but like i i miss this but apparently it must happen but apparently his corpse falls through the gateway. yeah so when he so there's a point where uh, the monster is holding america chavez before she can escape she's she's got the portal open. oh oh yeah it's like behind her but she's yeah. like tied up and he's got four like arms around it yeah around her and uh strange throws like these rings that cut off the arms and uh, she gets pulled through, and he gets pulled through as well. Okay. Um, so we cut to um, our version of Doctor Strange waking up from... He just thinks it's a nightmare. Mm -hmm. But we basically find out that... Um, when I guess when people sleep, they sometimes have dreams of you know, other them versions of themselves in, in, in the other, multiverse. Well, uh, mm -hmm. You're right, in other multiverses. Uh, which is interesting, but, like, would nobody have, like, sensed this before? I don't know. Just like, oh, dreams are weird. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, dreams are super weird. I wouldn't think they were a reality. <laughs> <laughs> I've killed a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Every version of myself is a uh, mass murder. <laughs> uh, anyway, he is getting ready, putting on his tuxedo or whatever to go to a wedding. Uh, and uh, we find out uh, that that's the wedding of Christine Palmer, played by Rachel McAdams. So we find out in his universe, he did not end up with her like like you would maybe suspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's... I don't. I guess it adds a little bit of something, but I don't know if it adds enough. But yeah, he goes to his his uh, forlorn love's wedding. Like, you have to be a glutton for punishment. Yeah, I wouldn't go to that either. <laughs> I mean, but but and he's like, oh, this is awkward. Huh. But they <laughs> set up that they have like a friendship, yeah. and so. But, yeah, but they're, like, confused about what they are, you know? They're, they're always confused. <laughs> it does seem that way. <laughs> every, and they they even touch on this, like, every version of them in the multiverse seems, like, yeah. a little It didn't confused. quite work. Yeah, it didn't, didn't quite work. Yeah. Uh, it, it's like, this is, a, this is an engulfing love story. <laughs> <laughs> we and like each other, but, <laughs> you know. Nah. <laughs> we marry other people. <laughs> Anyway, like, she asks him if he's happy, and he says yes. And, and like, I only mention that because they call it back later on. Well, uh, there was also that guy who sat next to him in the, at the wedding. Yeah, like a former colleague of theirs that was also a doctor. 
Yeah, that, he, that was kind of like a weird put in. Like, it was. Do we know him from somewhere? Yeah, he was in the first movie with Doctor Strange. He was like a uh, another doctor that I guess they he'd give him shit. You know, basically. Like, did he have some kind of powers? No, I, he I was believe, the guy who tried to fix his hands. I believe maybe in the I don't I haven't read a ton of Doctor Strange comics, but I believe in the comics he might actually be like a villain, oh. like <laughs> Doctor Nicodemus or something like that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not a hundred. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I, I think something like that. Okay. Um. Anyway, like uh, then they're they're tar- talking like on the balcony of this like wedding, when all of a sudden like he hears like something's afoot like you know a couple blocks down the road or whatever and we find out that america chavez like uh you know zapped into that our universe the 616 universe and um a giant octopus creature basically Mm -hmm. now that's is that the same creature that was in the opening or a different one different no it's a different one that's what i was thinking the first one was like almost like a ribbon looking monster. Like it was made of ribbon. Yeah. They, they both had like tentacle like aspects. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I thought it was a different creature, but then I'm like, I wasn't sure if it did. Because I didn't know like how much time passed between like, you know. Yeah. Between them being there and being found. Yeah, exactly. Um, I guess in the comics, what is this creature's name? Like Shina Magorath or something? No, no, no. Shu Magorath is like really powerful. This, oh, okay. this was Gargantos, I think. Gargantos. He looks like Shu Magorath. Okay, okay. And maybe it wasn't even him. I don't know. It could have yeah. been. Yeah. But apparently they must have drew inspiration from yeah. one of those creatures in the comics. Mm-hmm. Um, so he starts fighting this creature. Uh, he like, I know, I, I remember like, Bits and pieces. It's like he cuts off one of his tentacles with like his uh, like makes a like a buzz saw type mm-hmm. thing, and then uh, Wong appears. He starts fighting the creature as well. It keeps trying to kill America Chavez. She, she like um, eventually is on this like uh, you know balcony of a building or something or just like yeah window it, thro- it throws basically. her up with like yeah. a motorcycle or something. it throws oh, a motorcycle right. at the cape yeah yeah, it, yeah yeah so she falls onto the balcony yeah. Uh, but eventually, like Strange, like uh, you know, grabs like a uh, uh, light pole and just like impales uh, through the eye of the creature and like pull rips out rips its eyeball. eyeball yeah. A little bit of gore there for you. Mm-hmm. That was a yeah. That was a smart move. It was a little. Bit, it felt kind of like Ghostbusters ish because uh, it all like you know people are running. It comes out of nowhere. You can't see what's going on. You know, kind of like spirits, right? But then also there was that car that was like thrown in the middle of like midair it was caught by some sort of translucent thing like a oh yeah it started it, out it was oh, invisible yeah i know what you're talking about he like he like summoned like some sort of like creature yeah. to like move it or something yeah. like like yeah it, that was a little ghostbuster i guess yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot about that yeah it was just it was just like a cat's head or something something like yeah some sort of like giant creature that like bit it and like carried it off mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah i forgot about that <laughs> um so then um strange wong and america chavez are uh talking to each other in this restaurant like pizzeria and this is where she tells him you know, that she can travel the multiverse. And I don't remember all the details of this conversation, um, but basically it it leads her to then show the the dead version of Strange mm-hmm. that fell into there. Right. She, she had to prove that that she was her was, proof. Yeah, yeah, that she had been through the multiverse. Oh yeah, because the he's dream like, was reality. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and so she also like tells him that wasn't a dream or nightmare you had. That was a, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, she explains that. And part they set of, up like some trust issues because his other self tried to kill her or whatever. Yeah. Um. So this this is something that I thought was. A little curious. So, like, Wong tells him, um, I think, I hope I'm not skipping anything, but he says that the the creature, and I, I forget if he's talking about the octopus creature or the one from the vision or whatever, had runes on it. And so he's like, you know what that means? And he's like, oh, witchcraft. But doesn't Doctor Strange, like, kind of use, like, runish-type imagery and, like, the, they're, like, 
protection things? Well, I so the way it's explained in the comics is that Strange uses the powers of others. So he's basically just borrowing powers from other beings throughout like the multiverse and then just applies them to situations as he goes. So and and also he uses the Vashanti's powers. So those are powers that are like uh powers for good that he can access, but he doesn't actually have his own like per se powers. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know if they're following the comics or how, like how much they follow the comics. I I just thought it was weird that they're like, oh, this is a uh, you know definitely witchcraft, mm-hmm. and I'm like, really, does it look that much different from the things you guys <laughs> use? I don't know. I just thought that part was a little mm-hmm. silly, but apparently, whatever. It had the trade trademarks of witchcraft, so he's like, oh, I know a powerful witch. So we cut to um, Elizabeth Olsen, uh, and she's like. Um, we see her with her kids from WandaVision, like, you know, tucking them in and everything. Mm -hmm. And then she wakes up. So now we know she was basically having a dream of like her multiversal self. So like in the multiverse, she's happy with her kids. I will say, you know, when they started doing these Disney plus shows, I kind of thought they'd be like, you know, People can watch those if they want extra stuff, but if people just watch the movies, they're going to get everything. But this really did reference WandaVision yeah. a lot. Yeah. So, like, they definitely think if you watch this, you watch WandaVision, which for the vast majority of people is, is certainly true. But, mm-hmm. you know, these movies are definitely going to start having, I think, a lot more lead in where you won't necessarily get everything if you're not watching the Disney Plus uh, shows. Yeah. yeah. I wish I hadn't watched Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> what movie do you think that's going to pay off? In the <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, that's one thing that did kind of uh, surprise me a little bit. Um, so they go out in this field and like he's talking, kind of, I guess in he, he, generalities, he's like, "We've got this girl. We brought her to Karma Taj, but she's being like." Uh, hunted by somebody and can you help us or something and she's like you can bring America Chavez here and then she's like oh you didn't say her name before did you and then so this is the big turn where we find out that um, it was her that like you know basically made the creature that uh, yeah, was hunting them. Yeah, she's the one who's like summoning them. I, I don't know if she's making them or summoning them or what. Yeah, yeah I, that part I'm not clear on. But basically what we find out is because, um, you know, in the end of WandaVision, she ended up with the dark hold, mm-hmm. like the dark book of magic. And so apparently she can use that to, uh, to kind of like mess with other dimensions. Yeah kind of like go into them now okay that's a that's a good question because you know we we see her go on these like spirit walks where she can basically inhabit any multiversal version of herself and but is she inhabiting like the monster or is she create yeah like you were saying like that's something i'm unsure of like, yeah. can she just create... I feel like it's more like summoned or something. Yeah, it must be summoned. So she can... Okay. So she can't actually travel through the multiverse. Mm-hmm. Right. Um. So, yeah, this is where we get, like, the big heel turn of, of Wanda. What did you guys think of this? Because I was like... You know, in WandaVision, like, some people would say she's a v- villain. I would just say she was the antagonist of that show. Mm-hmm. Because, like... Even though she did a bad thing, it was, you know, basically a mixture of grief and mental illness that Mm -hmm. propelled her to do it, you know? But now, like, this movie definitely just said, oh, no, she's like a straight-up villain. Like, she's doing terrible shit. Yeah. But I I think, you know, the, the, the... The way out of that is the dark hold, right? Like it's controlled her and or forced her to like become a darker version of herself. That is true, and they do set up in this movie, which we'll get to, is like her good self is still in her somewhere. Well, well, that was was that her or was that the person she was um, taking was, control? Of? Yeah, because that person was like stuck in a like an isolated place where Wanda was in control of her mind. 
Yeah, I think it was the other. Well, I was. Other, I'm referencing, and we'll get to it. But the the Charles Xavier scene. Yeah. Yeah. That's where she had possessed another girl in the other universe. Oh. And yeah, then she, she was in possession of the other her other self. Oh, okay. I, I misread that scene. I I was thinking like he went into her head, and that was like, basically the. Not the other universe lady, but basically like the, her, her good self, her the good side of her. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I, I misread that a little bit. Okay. Um. So basically, Wanda tells Strange that she's going to show up at Carmitage, and they can either surrender America Chavez, or um, she's going to bust Die. out the Scarlet Witch. Mm-hmm. Um, and she does say she tells. It's weird that they try to make that distinction. Like they're not the same, exactly. <laughs> I'm kind of like, yeah, they, they seem kind of the same. Well, I mean, and that's maybe another reason that I thought that other version of her was her good self because they do try to kind of separate Wanda from the Scarlet Witch. Right. Um. Now she says she she's going to kill America Chavez so she can steal her power. Does she really need her power, though? Well, her idea is that she's going to be able to go to the multiverse, go to a, 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 a universe that has her kids, um, I guess kill the other woman, and then just take her to place. Yeah, and well, she explains later that she wants to have uh, those powers so that if her kids ever get sick or anything ever happens, she can go to a universe where they have a cure for that or whatever. See, I thought that line there was kind of the writer's covering for the fact that she basically, I mean, yes, I guess something like that could happen. But basically, she could just go on one of these spirit walks forever not kill America Chavez. No, the spirit that, walks are temporary. You can't do it forever. Oh, okay. Well, I thought like she could just like go there and maybe like be a mom for like a few hours and leave. <laughs> that <laughs> like, too. That's enough for these kids that too. For you a little while. You're like, I'll come see you again in a week. Yeah. And you'd think she would maybe choose that over like murdering someone else's right. kid, you know? But yeah, and also I thought she could have just enslaved. Well, sounds terrible, but she could have like, con- like controlled her mind that yeah, that's probably true as well yeah she yeah, could have just been like hey you're part of the family now you live with me now yeah and... she could have just like put a hex on her maybe yeah. her slave yeah. you're probably right about that yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um okay so yeah i guess we go to carmitage and we see like they're all preparing for the attack um and they have like um like a bulk type creature, like a guy with like horns. Yeah, he's like I don't know, a minotaur almost. I guess. Yeah, I gotta know the backstory behind that guy. How uh, they never explain Comertage having different kinds of beings there like that, you know? Do they? I don't think so. Yeah. And in the first movie, like I don't think they. Ever, I never saw anything. If like they that. did, it was in the background, and they never spelled it. I don't think they did though. Yeah. I think it was just people, but was was there creatures like that in the? Um... Talo. In yeah, the uh, yeah. Shang Chi, yeah, I didn't see that specific creature, but I could see that. I could, I definitely it reminded me of Shang Chi when right. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I only saw Shang Chi the one time. I I should rewatch it. Um, yeah, I can't remember either, to be honest. Um, but basically, Wanda shows up. Um, Strange, you know, tries to talk sense into her. But she ain't having it, so she does, uh, you know, change over to the Scarlet Witch, starts throwing red fireballs at everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they're they blocking them, but eventually she uses her power to basically, um, uh, I don't know if she controls or she kind of hexes like one of the guys in mm-hmm. there, makes him like bump into some it, of the other It was other like guys. Uh, Age of Ultron when she does that to the Avengers, like she got in their heads and like made them freak out. Oh, oh yeah. God, it's been forever since I watched Age of Ultron, but you're right. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, she kind of has that power. Um, so that break makes a hole in the shield that she can get through, and she just, like, starts kind of wrecking shop on everybody. Um, I don't remember the full sequence here. I, I remember she basically, uh, you know, gets to drop on all those guys. Eventually, like... Strange like shows up and he's like, You're gonna have to go through me to get to this kid. 
but she like steps on this thing that like sends her into like the weird mirror world <laughs> where there's like you know a bunch of reflections of her and it like kind of just for like visuals it like breaks apart and like goes all crisscross I don't know what was that meant to contain her somehow because yeah, she just easily so. gets out of it through she like got it out pretty easy mm-hmm. but I guess she was distracted for a couple minutes <laughs> then she was able to use it like to her benefit yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah she basically turn like the mirrors into like a pool of water that she could then uh come out through any other pool of water so like you know back in the the uh, sanctum or whatever um she starts like killing people through puddles of water and strangers like cover up all the reflections all the puddles and everything i've made a huge mistake <laughs> <laughs> well i mean uh in the previous movies they just established that if you go in the mirror dimension like you're stuck there it's a safe place you right. know but uh, she's apparently so powerful that she can break out of it. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't remember exactly what happens here, but, but basically they get in some sort of fight, which ends with uh, America and Strange going off into the multiverse and Wong gets stuck facing Wanda mm-hmm. alone, something like that. Yeah. Uh, s- gosh. Um, yeah, Strange... Yeah, right. Okay, so Stra- uh, Wong gets knocked out, and uh, his, yes, head, right. his he head's a his step. Head uh, Strange and uh, Chavez get pulled through a portal, because Chavez gets uh, scared. She gets uh, pulled through, and Strange comes with her somehow. I don't... Yeah. He kind of like, jumps along. Oh, yeah. Wanda throws a fireball into his back, and he jumps through that portal. Oh, that's right. Him. He blocks the fireball. He yeah. gets hit, and, and they both go through the portal. And so, this sequence here was kind of cool, but at the same time, it was so fast they like where they're just plowing through all these different multiverses yeah and there's like for a brief second like they're cartoon characters for a brief seconds they're like like paint basically i like that yeah i thought it was pretty cool it's a cool sequence but yeah it goes so fast that i almost wish they slowed it down a little yeah. bit or something but yeah. um but they end up uh kind of in this futuristic looking city i guess and um <laughs> Jeez, they decide that they're gonna find um, the other Doctor Strange. Yeah, the Doctor Strange in that universe mm-hmm. to hopefully help them out. Um, I don't know if there's like any. Oh, okay. So, so they're walking, um, and they're they're kind of introducing that this you know universe is is different. So, like, they get to a stoplight, and apparently in this. Universe red means go, green means oh, stop. Right. Mm-hmm. And then this is also where they get the obligatory Bruce Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, right. Well, well, there's like there's like a contradiction because right right there she's like, don't make any assumptions about the multiverse. And then like five seconds later she makes this assumption about the multiverse. <laughs> but I mean, she confirms it. She was wrong about her assumption. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, I just assume that. that Food is free here, like it is yeah. most everywhere. Even though I know it's not in your right. <laughs> universe, food is free in almost and all. She the gets universes. like these pizza balls. It's a callback. So in the comics, she's like a big pizza eater. She eats pizza oh, whenever okay. she travels. So like in the in this movie, she ate. I think she ate pizza the first time when they were at the yes. restaurant. Yes, and then she ate pizza balls here. Um, but yeah, Bruce Campbell, like, um, what does he do? He like accuses um, her of stealing. Well, I guess she does steal yeah, or whatever. You have to pay for those. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then like, he, he looks at Dr. Strange's cloak and he's like, oh, I bet you stole that from the Strange Museum and I'm going to spray you with mustard. So like, St- Strange puts this spell on him <laughs> where he like starts beating the shit out of himself. <laughs> and supposedly that's going to last for three weeks. He yeah. Says. I'm like, this is pretty. Uh, this is pretty harsh. I mean, you did steal from a guy. Maybe, maybe you should be kind of pissed. Off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what <laughs> is this like? An. Uh... But it's a callback to a uh, Evil Dead because in there, uh, there's a scene where oh, his he has to, beat himself, he has to cut off his hand. Oh, because, that's right. Yeah, his arms against. I haven't him. seen that in ages. <laughs> But I was like, is this like a capitalistic statement? It's like, uh, you think people should have to pay for food. To me, though, mustard is so nasty. The fact that he was going to spray him with mustard, he gets he gets what he deserves, man. You don't like mustard oh, on hot dogs? Oh, well, plus, he got, mustard. he got mustard like squirted straight in his eyes. Also, why does he have mustard for pizza balls? He has, he's selling pizza balls. What's mustard going? I'm sub- I bet some nasty fuckers like it. <laughs> 
Mustard is the black licorice of condiments. <laughs> um, so they walk along some more, and this was what I thought was uh, basically like a, uh, <laughs> like, oh, how can we squeeze more exposition in here? So like they randomly, he randomly steps on this thing that's like, oh, uh, let us let us take you down a walk through memory lane, right. and we're gonna visually show your memory just because you stepped on this thing. <laughs> This seems like a nobody would want this. <laughs> no, would you want like for a small fee? He didn't pay anything. That's the other thing is it's like for a small fee. I, I guess this is to get you hooked. <laughs> we'll show you one member. But like the public can see these. So like, what if it was like in a really embarrassing like memory? They're just gonna see like, oh, there's that time he was naked and he like broke his dick or whatever. <laughs> Um, but anyway, he he sees like this rom the romance when he was in relationship with Christine, and she gave him the watch that eventually got broken that he like cherishes or whatever. And then we see um, on her planet or whatever, she has two moms, and like like a bee was gonna sting her, so she got scared, and apparently her being scared is what triggers her power. So she got scared, it opened a portal, behind, and her mom's got, like, sucked into it. And, like, she doesn't know if they just, like, died or if they're lost somewhere. She actually thinks they're dead, but Strange is like, no, I bet they're tough like you or whatever, and they're alive somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, that, I thought that was wishful thinking there <laughs> by Strange. <laughs> I think he was just trying to, like, hey, cheer up. You know? <laughs> I'm sure they're good. <laughs> I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> didn't zap them to some hell dimension. <laughs> Um, so they, uh, finally find the sanctum sanctorum of this universe. And lo and behold, there's a statue of Dr. Strange. He's dead. And the plaque says he died, uh, fighting Thanos or whatever and saving the world. Um, that universe is, uh, Baron Mordo then shows up and like Strange is at first apprehensive because he's like, Oh, this dude in my universe, we have a beef and he like tries to kill me. Although I have an issue with that because the original Doctor Strange, like they were friends, but then like, you know, him doing what he did at the end of the movie, like Mordo's like, ah, I can't, you know, abide by this. And he leaves. He didn't, he never tried to kill yeah. him. Uh, he did, he did take powers away from other magicians or uh, yeah, sorcerers. Yeah, we see at the, like the post credit scene of Doctor, the original Doctor Strange, he, he takes the power away from that guy that used it to like cure his paralysis yeah, but or whatever. He didn't even kill that guy, so he's not. Not that we see anyway. Yeah. But he certainly never tried to kill Doctor Strange that we know of, unless it happened in some story we're Off not screen? aware of. Yeah. 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 So that part I thought was a little hinky. But basically, this Mordo is like, oh, our Strange always said a multiversal version of him would come here one day and he's like come on in so they're inside like drinking tea or whatever and i don't remember exactly what the conversation is i know well, it explain uh strange had pretty much explained everything that happened up until that point to a and uh what, that's when mordo's like oh wow you're you're pretty powerful yourself then too talking about america chavez and oh, okay. uh yeah then they start talking about uh the, I think they get into the dark hold, right? Like he says that we have a dark hold. Oh dimension. yeah, we, we protect it, and he was like, "Damn right, right, and, uh, right." They also talk about the. No, that's. I don't think they talk about the Book of Ashanti there. So yeah, I think they talk about the dark hold there. Yeah. Okay, but then their vision starts going all uh, crazy, and we find out. Uh, and this trope is used a lot in fiction, but yeah. but yeah, they they got poisoned, and so then uh, Strange wakes up. He's being held in like this, uh, you know, plastic cube, and alongside uh, American Chavez is the one next to him, and he's like, "Who's in charge here, or whatever?" Because uh, they're like kind of in a lab. There's like a laboratory here, and um, like the head of the laboratory is this universe's version of Christine Rachel McAdams. Um, so then they talk a little bit. I don't really remember the details of this conversation. He, he gets a little backstory. He's like, so, you know, what happened with you and you're strange? And she explains, you know, it didn't work out. And he's like, same thing happened in mine. You know, that's, we have that in common. And he tries to like, kind of relate with her, you know, like, you know, or try to bond with her. And she's like, I don't want to know you like that. You know, like basically she's like, 
she shuts him down. Like, we're not going to be friends like that. You know, this is something else. We're, I'm just working on this. Okay, yeah. Uh, so then Baron Mordo shows up, and he's like, um, it's time for you to meet with the Illuminati. Mm-hmm. And so um, we get that scene that was in the trailer of, like, him being escorted by a bunch of, like, Ultron robots. Mm-hmm. They never really explain that. I guess we just go, like, oh, this multiverse... Ultron, I, I guess, was tamed yeah. or something. I so, I mean, like, you would think Tony Stark would be a part of the uh, Illuminati if his Ultrons are, like, working for them, but I didn't see him. <laughs> well, apparently, like, Thanos visited this universe. Oh, so, right. You know, maybe he's dead. Yeah. Um, but they bring him into this chamber with the Illuminati, uh, which we find out is comprised of uh, Baron Mordo, um, Black Bolt, who I never watched. They did like a, a it, one season of like an Inhumans TV show on like ABC, and apparently it was just like the the drizzling shits. Like everybody hated it, and it was it canceled. But I believe that is Anson Mount, who yeah, I heard the he was the same actor. Yeah, it um was the same actor in that show. Um, they also have a version. Um, I don't know if it's technically the What If version, but it is a version of um. Captain America, the female Captain America. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I definitely... Peggy Carter. Definitely thought of what if when I saw her. Yeah, although, like, I don't know if we're to assume it's that same one or if, you know, a different multiverse version. Yeah, I just I just chalk it up to it being a different one. Yeah. Um, there's also... Um, um, I believe, is it Monica Rambeau? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she is... Uh, Miss Marvel yeah. in this, or Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel yeah. in this universe, rather than Karen Danvers. And then um, um, Reed Richards appears. Yeah, this, uh, was a, this was a big one. Yeah, John Krasinski. Yeah. Now, given what we will get here in a minute, what happens to him, do you think going forward, like when they, you know, finally introduce the fantastic four do you think they're going to use yeah. him or do you think yeah. this was a one and done? he's directing the next one i think or well either... that's a rumor because oh, okay. originally um the guy who uh directed the tom holland spider-man uh-huh. movies was going to direct John it Watts, I think? yeah and he just recently came out and and said like oh i'm i'm tired right now it's not going to work out i need a break from directing or whatever and some people are speculating just like you said that uh, that's probably not true. Maybe they think oh. they got John Krasinski to agree to direct, okay. and maybe they'll give that guy something else mm-hmm. down the line. I still think he'll be in it, though. I I just think uh, I mean you know they use the same Doctor Strange in these different movies. Yeah, yeah, they probably will. It's just it's one of those things that I could see them doing if they wanted. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we also in watching the trailers, we knew he was going to be in it. Patrick Stewart mm-hmm. um, arrives. And they even did a, that little music cue uh, yeah, yeah. of the uh, X-Men 90s cartoon, which mm-hmm. I liked. Yeah, that was good. Um, and Patrick Stewart, man, he's, he's, he's getting up there in age, but he, he's good, man. Yeah, he's not stopping. He's just, he keeps going. You know, I just started watching Picard because yeah, yeah. you said you liked it. And, like, I, I was surprised being, like, given his age that they gave him a show like that just out of fear that he could die because he's an old man you know it's always possible yeah uh it is like taking a risk but uh, they went for it um but no he's great um now they this conversation i you know he he's basically warning them you know about wanda mm. and they're like no we know from our universe as doctor strange that you're actually the more dangerous one. But what did they say, like, the secret of what actually happened to their Doctor Strange was? So basically, like, he had used... Warn the mic, sir. No. Oh. What was it? What's the evil book called or whatever? He, Darkhold? The Darkhold. He used the Darkhold, and, like, somehow he'd caused the collision of two universes and killed everybody in, like, one or both of them. One of them. One of, one of them. And so, yeah, he killed an entire universe, and... Basically, they, they took him out behind the paint shed and killed him. <laughs> and um, oh, that's right. 
I, I forgot that scene. Yeah, Black Bolt, right? Yeah. yeah he said, I'm sorry. And just, and, yeah, he exploded. And uh, he was using the dark hold because he was trying to find a way to defeat Thanos on his own. <laughs> right. And uh, okay. they so actually the, ended up using the Book of Ashanti to beat Thanos. Right. But they came back and they said, yeah, he's the hero who died for us. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, immortalized him. Because they needed heroes. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, now I'm remembering that scene. Um, it's at this moment that Wanda um, does one of her spirit walks. So she... And they, they have like this kind of horror moment where like... Um, like the woman is saying... Or like she's with her kids and like she takes their dishes. She's going to the sink. Well, we, we did skip like the part where... Um, like when she was left with Wong and and Wong basically tells her that um, because her book was destroyed that it's inscribed in this. Um, oh well, I mean, I think the first time she jumps into the the body and sees her kids, that hasn't happened yet. It's about to happen. Like that's right about to happen. But actually. doesn't that happen when she's in like the temple? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're right. Okay, so she gets into the body and uh, she talks to her kids, and she's like really ecstatic and everything, and then. Um, Wong is you. You cut to Wong tied up, and then one of his uh, people. Oh, that's right. Sorcerers. That's where the book actually. She like stabs the book, mm-hmm. which like turns her to ash, but destroys the book. Yeah, because Wong was like, "All oh, I have to destroy it," and she was apparently she knew that it kills you if you destroy it, so that's why she did it. I guess. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I but then, the sequence. um, Wong tells her that oh, that book's actually just a copy. Like the originals in this place called like Wondagore? Wondagore Mountain. Wondagore Mountain. And so they go there and like he said, she's like, couldn't you sling ring us closer? And he's like, oh, we're not supposed to go there or whatever. He can't get closer. But she just like grabs him and takes him there anyway. Yeah, flies over there. (laughs) So apparently. It wasn't that big of an obstacle. (laughs) Um, So they go there and there's like these runes on the wall that apparently correspond to the and he's like these were what were put into the dark hold or whatever basically Mm -hmm. um these like big monsters start to surround them but then they just like bow to her like she's the queen of the dark hold or whatever yeah he explains that there was like this ancient i don't know if it says demon or being or something uh named i think i don't know if he says cathone or tithone i'm not sure oh yeah he does mention cathone in the comics, um, yeah, he mentions that that being was there, and he's the or that being is the one that left the temple and prophesied this whole thing. Okay, um, so yeah, somewhere I don't remember the total events, but she she jumps into she does one of her spirit walks, uh, inhabits um, a, her universal um, self that is in the same universe that the Illuminati and our stranger in right now. And then so she flies to the facility they're being held at, starts attacking everybody. She's like cutting through the Ultron robots and and everybody. Um, so, you know, Doctor Strange is like trying to get him to release his bindings, which cut off his power. And they're like, most of the, the Illuminati are like, no, we're going to go handle this. And, and basically, Mordo, Patrick Stewart, and Strange stay in that room. All the others go to fight Wanda. Mm -hmm. And so, (laughs) yeah, basically Wanda just starts fucking them up. Yeah, pretty much any time she's in a fight with anyone in this movie, she just... They definitely made her powerful. She basically, like uh, Mr. Fantastic, she just like kind of spaghettis him Mm -hmm. and then like red mists him. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I was like, maybe... Maybe he should have thought of a smarter plan. <laughs> Black Bolt went to yell yell at her, uh, um, and he, she like closed up his mouth. Right, he got the Matrix mouth. Matrix mm-hmm. mouth, and just like his head exploded or whatever. <laughs> um, the other women fare a little bit better. Uh, Captain Marvel and uh, um, Peggy Carter. <laughs> Captain, what what do they call her? I don't know because she's Captain Britain, I Captain think? Carter, British, or, or something. Yeah, I guess Captain Carter. Captain Carter. Yeah. Okay. Um, but eventually, I I remember her. She cut her in half using her yeah, she, own, her shield, own shield. Yeah. How did she defeat uh, Captain Marvel? That part I don't. Remember. That was hard to accept. She dropped a a statue on her, and the head of the statue landed right on Captain Marvel and killed her. 
Yeah, what, that's a yeah. really powerful character. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't I wasn't convinced necessarily she was dead, but she was like buried and just her hand was sticking out. Okay, yeah. So maybe. Yeah, because I was going to say like... Um, that's the most powerful character. Yeah, because... Uh, yeah, the version of like... Like Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, like she's portrayed as being like yeah. insanely powerful. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think a statue would kill her. Exactly, so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so then... Um, uh, back in the other room, um, Patrick Stewart leaves. Well, there, there's like an interaction between them. And I was a little confused at this because basically didn't Patrick Stewart said they were going to give him a, a chance. and let Yeah, him if he says, if you manage to escape here, uh, know that there, I think he tells him about the Book of Ashanti. He says that there's a passageway to it. Okay, he gives him like extra information. Yeah, he tells him something else too, I thought, but I can't, it doesn't come to mind. Yeah, he does mention that he, he basically the book of he gives him enough knowledge to know what to do next. I guess. Yeah, and he talks a little bit about how he thinks the strange is different from other strange, the other strange. And then, oh right, I guess he must wheel out at that point and leaves him with the with the Baron Mordo. Yeah, mm -hmm. so like he kind of antagonizes Mordo and causes him to attack him, mm -hmm. and um, in this scuffle, like one of his. Um, handcuffs gets opened up yeah because he has his magic handcuffs and he ends up slapping that on the other guy's wrist mm -hmm. and so they get in this fight eventually like the chain breaks so they each got like one oh, on each one hand, hand. <laughs> which like restricts their magic i guess and they have like this not very good fight <laughs> like kind of in this Slapped weird like yeah. narrow walls like <laughs> well they're both sorcerers they don't, they're not fighters <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And eventually, like, Strange is kind of like, um, you know, Crouching Tiger, like, yeah, yeah. hops up and r gets out of there. Yeah, I was <laughs> so surprised by that move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was he powerless when he did that? Yeah, that was that was all him. I, don't, I was like, uh, that's pretty athletic for that Dr. That is pretty Strange. athletic for Dr. Strange. <laughs> like, yeah. When he was a doctor, could he do that shit? <laughs> yeah. Um, so now we cut back. Wanda uh, is, is slowly approaching uh, the cage containing America Chavez. Um, Rachel McAdams is trying to like break her out of it. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of weird that like, there is just some mechanism. Yeah, to, like, let her out. <laughs> like they, that would be like yeah, creating in a prison cell that you don't have a key for. <laughs> mm -hmm. But there was like um, there was some like. Lockdown procedure, like that was set up when Wanda showed up. So maybe, oh, maybe, maybe they can like explain it that way. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, but anyway, like she, she like um, hits it with a piece of metal. Maybe she does like a small crack. But then, like um, America Chavez, like instinctually, like punches it, and she's like, "Oh, I can punch really fucking hard." Apparently, mm. so she like puts a crack in it. But then, like Wanda's right there. But then here comes old Professor X to to save the day. He goes inside Wanda's mind. And this is what we were referencing earlier. So, yeah, I, I thought, like, he goes into, like, this white space of her mind and he eventually sees this rubble and with, like, a good Wanda, like, trapped underneath. And I thought that was, like, the good part of, like, her subconscious. But like you were saying, it was probably just the lady she Possess yeah, possessed. possessed. So. Um, but then, like, inside this... Uh, dreamscape and this was kind of cool visually like this red cloud appears behind mm -hmm. Professor X you know representing her and she just like snaps his neck in the dream world and snaps his neck in real life <laughs> right right. if you die in the dream world you <laughs> die in real life apparently, apparently. Uh, but that was enough of a distraction so that uh, uh, Rachel McAdams and America Chavez could get away and like she leaves like the, the star like impression in the plastic, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I, I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that either. I'm pretty sure. I, I even think, maybe I'm wrong about this because it was fast, but like uh, in the beginning of the movie where she's on the windowsill and they're fighting the octopus creature, she like knocks like uh, a hunk of yeah. shit on his head. And I think even that like takes the form of a star. It probably guess, did. It, but, I mean, it did look like she used her power a little bit, and that was something that she didn't have control of, so I was like... Yeah, she, she used it a, a couple times. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... Her power, yeah, maybe a little 
inconsistent. I don't know. It's, it's all based weird. on. It almost seems like it's tied to her emotions. Like if she's like in a stressful situation. Yeah, they were definitely trying to tie it to her fear, like yeah. maybe adrenaline or something. Yeah. Um. So they end up in this hallway, and like this shadow starts like running down the hallway and it's like setting up is like oh is it something scary coming after him mm -hmm. and it just ends up being strange i actually thought it was going to be like some like comic relief like character for some reason i thought it was going to be like this like midget character <laughs> i don't know why i was just like but no it was strange and so the strangest cape is also i, I guess they released it too it shows up. He didn't have his cape for a while there. Oh. Probably, yeah. Probably. Christine. Well, yeah, she seemed like she had his possessions. Oh, oh yeah. I guess if they're going to lock him up, it would be a good idea to take that yeah. from him. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> they're like, we're going to take this. They probably just hung in the coat closet. <laughs> Although, in the first movie, that cape, like, beats the shit out of a guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it kills like, a guy. Yeah. I think it might. So, like... Maybe it wouldn't be a good idea to fuck with that cloak. <laughs> uh, maybe it should have had its own like uh, container. Yeah, its own prison. Mm. So <laughs> there's something silly that that happens here. So they're like running down this corridor, and like Wanda's like tailing them, and like yeah. these these. Th this is kind of like one of the first like real kind of like horror elements because mm -hmm. she's a little bit beat up and she's kind of like. Yeah, and she's got, like, the blood on her yeah, face. Yeah, she's stumbled yeah. chasing him. But, yeah, she's chasing him, and, like, there's these dividers, like, falling. But she's just, like, easily, like, just boom, blast boom, her, blast yeah. him out of the way. But then for some reason, there's a final blast where they drop down, and this one's holding her back, kind of, for some reason. And somehow when she gets in, she doesn't go through that. Yeah, she ends up just, like, being on the other side of him or something. <laughs> yeah, and it's like... Weird. <laughs> yeah, how'd she get around that? I don't know. Does he have a power to go through walls now or something? <laughs> Kitty Pride power? I don't know, man. It doesn't it doesn't explain it and you just go, it's oh, just okay. like yeah, going for like a jump scare. Yeah. I mean she's all powerful, you know. We we gotta just accept it. <laughs> <laughs> um so so they find this um at the end of the line, there's this um you know, door with a round like lock on it. Well before that though, like um because some for some reason this passage goes under the river, so like he fucks up the top and all mm. the water comes down on her. I'm like, this seems like a terrible decision. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were gonna get drowned too. Like, <laughs> it's like you know how fast water. Moves. Yeah, like they they had to run to get under like to get through that other door yeah. and for it to close. And I was like, man, <laughs> they're like, yeah. and he said it was just gonna slow her down or whatever. Yeah. But you know, even when he did that, he said, I hope the good part of you can still swim. Oh, so yeah. like, or no, he said, uh, I think he means like the good person that she was possessing because she was still, oh, possessing. okay, yeah, I guess she would have been at that point, yeah, like if she left that lady's body at that point, that would be a pretty shitty, <laughs> 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 but, although the other woman still wished too, so yeah, that's true. Uh, no, this part I thought was kind of silly too. They they get to this door and he like tries to open it using magic but it doesn't work and he's like oh it's it's protected with some sort of spell that would be significant to this world's doctor strange but what or something and she's like oh take this watch <laughs> yeah like, my watch oh it fits perfect <laughs> yeah it fits perfect right and that's the other thing is like it wasn't like a magic thing no he's just like oh i'll just shove it in the yeah. center of this wheel and <laughs> give it a twist and it, it's good it was all just engineering <laughs> yeah yeah exactly it was like the silliest thing anyway this door opens um up to that uh uh i think they call it like a gap junction or something it's like mm. the space between the space that where the movie opened yeah and like that's where the book of vachanti is hiding so they go for the book, like he opens it up, but then Wanda's right on their ass again. And she basically like hits the book with one of her fireballs and like burns it up or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seemed like it was destroyed basically yeah. the second he got it. So yeah, does that even come into play really then? He didn't get to use it, no. Yeah, he didn't get to use the book. Is there a, a Wondegore Mountain for that book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that really feels like a big loss, man. <laughs> that book was a... Uh... Like, it was important. Well, and they made it out to be, like, the only thing that could save the day. Yeah. 
Um, but there might have been, it might have been in like mul- multiple places. Like universes? Right, like the uh, the other dark book was in yeah. each universe or whatever. Yeah. I don't know, because it was kept in the place between universes. It makes yeah. it feel like there's only one, but there could, maybe there are multiple. I don't know. They don't explain that. Yeah. No, I forget exactly what action happens here. Because I know that um, Strange and Rachel McAdams end up going off to okay, so, one universe. So Wanda, she takes control of uh, America Chavez. She grabs her, she has her by the head, and she forces her to open a portal. To and, uh, the one to go place? No, this, oh. this portal's to like that incursion universe or whatever. The like a okay, a desolated okay. universe. And uh, she sends both Christine and Doctor Strange through that portal, and then she takes uh, America Chavez for herself and goes back to uh, her own universe. Okay, and then we see the possessed woman gets released, and she goes she, back through right, the door. She goes back mm-hmm. the way they came. <clears throat> To that flooded tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to find your way through there. <laughs> Apparently it's fine. Um, so, yeah. So then <clears throat> I don't know it, if it – it probably goes to – I don't know if it goes to Strange first or to Wanda first, like the next week. Because I know, like, eventually, like – Strange goes and finds the other Strange, but I, I'm thinking there's probably a scene before that where, yeah, I think uh, she has America. She <clears throat> has um, she was gonna take her power. She talks to her. America's right. like your kids wouldn't like this, and she's like they won't know about this, and she's like but you will. And right. Wanda kind of has that moment where she like kind of looks at it. And she kind of thinks about it. it. Seems like, and then they cut to I think Strange and. Uh, uh, Christine, and she puts uh, America Chavez like on this like ritual like mm-hmm. thing where she's going to take her power. And I don't know if it happened here a little earlier, but at some point she threw Wong off the side of the mountain oh, cliff, yeah, yeah. right? But like he he was able to use his like magic hook or whatever to at least like get on a ledge and like save himself. Yeah, he but was, it like, looked unconscious like his hook on a missed. Ledge. Yeah, when yeah. he first fell down, like he used the hook and it just like clanked off the side, mm-hmm. and then so we're and like nobody really thinks yeah. he's dead, and eventually it's just like maybe he's he a, maybe just fell like a hundred yards and landed on that ledge and you know perfectly it didn't fall off of it no, didn't slip no broken bones or anything. <laughs> even though it's like ice cold <laughs> he also did some crouching tiger shit that we didn't know he could do <laughs> I was like shit maybe he should be like waking up with hypothermia on this ledge bro when he woke up on the side of that mountain and looked up I was like might as well jump dude you're dead like you can't get back up I was like I couldn't climb that mountain <laughs> <laughs> that'd be funny he's like, he like yeah I ain't fucking climbing that shit yeah. <laughs> someone else is the source of supreme now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, um, so yeah, now we skip back over to Strange. Him and Christine are in this incursion universe that was like destroyed. Uh, but they go, he's like, well, let's see if there's a Doctor Strange here that can help us. So they find the Sanctum Sanctorum there. Um, and you know, there was speculation when the trailer came out for this that it was going to be the Strange from the What If. Mm-hmm. Um, which I actually just watched, um, like over the <laughs> the the last weekend. Um, but after he gets to talking, like it can't be him. Um, I don't think. Um, but anyway, like um, they start talking. Uh, him and this other dark, like Doctor Strange, and. Um, I don't. God, do you remember their conversation? Yeah. So first he's like, uh, you know, prove who you are, you know, like, and then he tells him about the story about how they had a sister when they were little, and the the girl fell through a ice lake and died. Yeah, I remember that part, which and, is something they never mentioned in the first yeah, movie. <laughs> yeah. And so he's like, oh yeah, I believe you. But then uh, they start talking about the dark hold. He's like, I see you have the dark hold, or he tells him like, you know, about the dark hold. He says, I need it, and. Uh, he sees that the other one has the dark hold and he wants to use it. And he says, well, if, you, if you'd if you like to use my dark hold, I want your Christine. And uh, he's like, I don't think she'll like that. And then they start getting into a fight. Yeah, I, I thought that, like, Doctor Strange was... 
I didn't. I didn't think he would be instantly like evil. Like he turned out to be. Like I thought there was going to be some sort of like yeah. shades of gray there. But no, <laughs> he's just a bad version yeah. of Doctor Strange. And so yeah, they have this weird fight where they like start throwing like music symbols at each other. Yeah, this this fight totally took me out, man. Both times, every time I see this fight, I'm like, ooh, this is not for me. It, it does kind of pull you out, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a. It was a stylistic choice. A cool yeah. idea, maybe, but it, it, yeah, it was a little bit weird. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but they're like throwing music, these like magical <laughs> music symbols, and like you it's hear a like these fight. little. What do you expect? You hear like these like I don't know if it's like Beethoven or like whatever, <laughs> like these really like quick like classical. Like these guys drops. are really good composers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're, they're fight composers. <laughs> Um, but eventually, our Doctor Strange gets the upper hand, and he like shoves the other guy out, and he gets impaled on the gate below, oh, like yeah, by yeah, Christine. Yeah. Um, but that he did have the dark hold, like you were saying. Yeah, and that Strange also call back to it later has a third eye on his forehead. That's right. That's right. Um, so now Doctor Strange uses the dark hold so that he can do a um, what do they call it? A memory or a a walk. Yeah, so he can take over spirit walk a version version of himself in the universe where Wanda the the main Marvel universe that we know. Right. Yeah. So like Christine's like but there's not a living version of you in that universe. There's I don't know how she phrases it, but he's like Maybe not a living one. Or, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we know he's going to take over the, the the strange that he buried in the... Yeah. yeah at, at that point, I, I was like, oh, you're right. Zombie. <laughs> and then it got really Sam Raimi. It yes. got really Sam Raimi. This is very this. Sam Raimi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely like this sequence. Yeah, I love the cheesiness of Sam Raimi. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, basically, he, he takes over the, the zombie corpse and um, sling rings to Wondegore Mountain... And um, randomly, he just like starts getting attacked by all these like ghoulish like creatures, like spirits or something. Yeah, there's some kind of like covenant where you're not supposed to like <laughs> enter the dead or something. Yeah, it's a it's a rule that that's not allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. So then this starts like affecting him, and he jumps back into like his body, but they like somehow like come cr- out of his eyeballs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they they come over. <laughs> And then Christine uses some artifact that I, I don't know if they set up or how she would know to use it, but it's this yeah. thing she can hold and put the – she lights a candle. or There was a bunch of lit candles, and she just, like, puts it in there and it, like, bursts out a flame that can kill these creatures. But, like, how did she know about that thing? Yeah, well, that she, was, that part she had been using – uh, That sequence is just kind of weird. Well, no, she, she had been using, a, like, the magic stuff and before she had been experimenting with that. Because remember, uh, she talks about how she used the Sands of Santi before to uh, – to make some sort of scientific thing or something. So Yeah, she did mention that. Yeah. So I think she's been like kind of merging science with magic. So she bit. knows a little bit about magic. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And I guess that's explains it a little. And she fixed uh, Strange's cape too, his uh, cloak. He, she's the one who patched it up. So I Oh, I didn't knew. even notice yeah, that. I didn't notice that. When did she do that? Now, they don't show it, but, oh, but she, she when he puts it back on, he's like, "Oh, he fixed it." When she has all their stuff. <laughs> all this stuff. Um, so he jumps back into the zombie body, and now, I guess because that happened, he can control these ghoulish creatures? Well, there is a sequence after they get back over there where, like, he, um, he kind of rallies them and forms them into a cape somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he uses them. Uh, Christine, like, they're taking, taking him over, and then Christine's like, control them, you know, use them. And then he gets this, you know, it, it hits him in the head and he like, you know, opens up his eyes and he starts pulling them and they all become part of his like, I guess, new cape. Yeah. Yeah. He basically makes like wings out of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks cool. It's, he's like a yeah zombie version of him with his freaking like skull and yeah, bones he, cape. He looks kind of like a, like a Vishnu looking. Yeah. With all the arms. Yeah. That, that's what I was thinking too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so then he, he, um, starts flying towards Wondegore Mountain to try to stop, um, uh, Wanda. And I remember, like, um, I don't know if she gets a glimpse of him. I think she does. And then, like, his creatures, like, go to the edge of the cliff and they're, like, about to throw, like, a rock at him. 
but then like a spear like goes through. Oh no, no, they're they're gonna so the, apparently the creatures can use magic. Like he was he had like two like red balls, like one is always thrown around. Yeah, yeah, he was he was about to fire those and then yeah, Wong shoots up like a, a sp- that thing of his. Yeah, his yeah. spear or whatever yeah. and like kills one of them. So yeah, because he he didn't decide to jump off the mountain. He decided to, <laughs> to climb, back. climb up. Um, <clears throat> and then, like, um, uh, th- they start throwing rocks at him, trying to kill him. And, and basically, Strange comes in and uh, hits them. And he basically just blows them all off, yeah, off the mountain. Yeah, I was going to say, like, they don't last long. I think he just, yeah, like, throws yeah. them off the, <laughs> the mountain. Mm-hmm. Um, so they didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> um, so then, like... Uh, Wanda and Strange, they must have some sort of fight. I, I remember him like Yeah, she he he starts engaging her. She's she's like, you know, you're a hypocrite, you're using the dark hole to do the same thing I did, you know, like and then they start fighting it out and he's he's using his spirits to like attack her, the ones that he's controlling, so they're like surrounding her and then uh he he forms like a ball around her of, oh, yeah. of magic and yeah. kinda can like seals her in there and then Wong tries to like fortify yeah, he's it. He's trying to hold them together. And yeah. But yeah, and she's busting loose and then Wong is like, oh, you're going to have to kill her and take her power, which I didn't think Wong would go that <laughs> yeah, route. Yeah, you don't think so. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it did seem like the only option. Um, So Strange goes over to her and she's like, I understand, like you need to take my power and he's like, no, I'm not doing that, kid. You can, you've gotten us this far. I don't know yeah. exactly what. So yeah, he's, he says, he's like your power has always put us exactly where we need yeah. to be. Like she basically he's saying like you can control it, you just don't know you can. Right, it's like yeah. an instinctual thing or yeah. something. Mm-hmm. I was vaguely expecting her to be like, "Oh God, your breath." <laughs> <laughs> right, I was thinking that too. He must smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be, yeah, it'd be funny if he's telling her, and she's just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> "Listen, I know what I know what you're trying to do here. Let's, uh, let's uh, cut it short." <laughs> um, so Wanda breaks loose, but now America Chavez starts using her her newfound power to punch shit really hard, mm-hmm. and, and starts like punching her and like. She she punches her like into this like kind of hellscape yeah. type universe, and like she almost like falls off like a cliff, but she mm-hmm. doesn't. And then Wanda starts like coming back at her. Um, God, how does this wrap up? <laughs> so this was kind of weird to me. I, when she opens those star portals, normally they suck the person through, right? But when when she opened it up behind Wanda, it didn't try to pull her through. She was just standing there, you know, like kind of. Keeping her balance. I guess you could just say, oh, she's powerful because of the dark hold or whatever. Okay. But, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I forget how the fight ends exactly. So she's like starting to punch Wanda. And it looks like she's up maybe about to get her through that portal. But <clears throat> Wanda gets her balance and then she uh, takes control and she overpowers her. And then she's like, I can't beat you, but I'll, I can do, you know, I can give you what you want. So she like makes a portal to oh, where yeah. her kids are. Right. And then they... Then they see what, what this is kind of weird. The kids didn't immediately see Wanda trying to kill America. <laughs> I was thinking that same thing. <laughs> like, at uh, first, they're just like doing whatever they're doing, playing their game the or whatever. TV's on, they're supposed to be what, but they're just looking down for some reason. Yeah, it's like, wouldn't they immediately be like, Oh, what the fuck's going on here? No, they're just like doing whatever they're doing, and then like, What? It's like, yeah, I thought that was weird too. I noticed that, yeah. Um, but yeah, so so now we're like the kids see her as a monster mm-hmm. which kind of triggers in her brain that she, she's doing wrong i guess yeah and she hurts her other version of herself so they're like freaking out like you're hurting right. our mother right yeah and so they freak out and they they go and hide and they're like please don't hurt us and she's like oh i, I would never hurt you i'm not i would never hurt anybody i'm not a monster and like you know it's starting to come to her that right it's happened and uh yeah i think at that point she just walks back out well she doesn't walk out the portal but she she breaks down she goes onto her knees and the other wanda walks up to her puts her hand on her cheek and says uh no they'll be loved so right. you know she just gives her those words of consolation and then wanda and america go through the portal uh she america basically closes that portal they don't actually go through it they just close that portal they never they did go through it, but i guess wanda gets to the point where she's just outside of it now okay and uh yeah they end up back in um the main universe, right? I yeah, they must. Yeah, 
And no. then yeah, they do. Yeah. I don't remember. Does does Strange in here have more dialogue? Because she basically agrees to like destroy the do- like all the dark holds or something, right? Yeah, yeah. She she wants to destroy the dark hold, and it turns out that when she does, she destroys the mountain. She lifts it up and like drops it on herself. That's it looks right. Like. And uh, you assume she's dead. And uh, it also goes later on. You find out when uh, Strange is talking to Christine that. Uh, the dark hold is, was destroyed. I don't. I don't know how he figures that. Oh, because uh, the dark hold that he had with Christine in that room like, was also destroyed. disappeared. Yeah. yeah. And also, like um, when America Chavez and Strange were talking, she told him that she would come save him from the torn up universe mm-hmm. portal there and get him. You know. Yeah. She ends up doing that. And then I think it just wraps up, right? She ends up being a student at the... Uh, that's oh, Carmitage or whatever. Yeah, Carmitage. She's learning magic. She's kind of like repeating what Strange had been through, kind of having a hard time learning it and stuff. Strange, uh, ha- he's talking to Wong after... Yeah, he talks to Wong, and Wong... At- he he asked Wong, are you happy? And that's this is right. a question that came up earlier when he was talking to the evil version of himself. Right. So, and Wong actually addresses this and says, that's a interesting question. And Strange explains, you know, I, I just, after all this, I still don't feel happy and stuff. And, you know, Wong explains that he's just grateful for what he has. You know, there's so much out there that could be worse. And, uh, let's see here. Yeah, then America comes up to uh, Strange and she's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and then Strange is like, what's up? And they just, uh, you know, say their goodbyes and thanks. You know, I'm glad I met you. Right. Thing. Yeah, and like him and the uh, Christine kind of had a conversation too. Where I forget exactly what they said, but he, he he's like, I fall in love with you in like every yeah, yeah. version of the multiverse or whatever. Right, and she, he they talk about how he'd like to take her to his universe and show her, and she says she'd like that, but she can't. So they have to go separate ways. So it's kind right. of like a goodbye there. Um, so yeah, and then like, um, we see like Doctor Strange like happily like go f- going for a walk, and all of a sudden he's like, ah, I got a headache, <laughs> yeah. and, and he's like, we see the third eye opens up yeah. on him, so. I think what we're supposed to get out of that is is like the, the dark hold is a part of him now. Is yeah, that what you something. got out of it? There's <clears throat> some sort of darkness within him. That's what I get. Yeah. So now that the, the other dark holds are destroyed, do you think Wanda's back to being, you know, good good Wanda? Or I think Wanda's dead. Right? Like she she dropped that mountain on herself. What were like her I, two? I don't know. I don't think that. I I don't no, think they'll just kill her off. There was I a prediction of like two things. Like she was either gonna like rule the universe or destroy them all. Yeah, with the incursions, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, they mention uh, incursions in this movie, and you know, uh, well, we'll get to it. Actually, there's still some more. I think. Yeah. Well, so so when he, the third eye reveal is where the movie cuts to credits. Mm-hmm. Um, but the first post scene. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which just kind of takes like the thunder out of how it ends is like so Charlize Theron shows up which is always a good thing and she's like you you caused these incursions and now you're going to help me go fix them basically mm-hmm. and she like opens up this portal and he's like okay let's do this yeah. and like he opens up the eye so basically he's already like accustomed to the eye yeah. <laughs> so it's like it kind of takes the steam out of how the movie <laughs> ends it's like oh he's, he's got the third eye oh like he's fine <laughs> yeah he's working with it not a problem <laughs> now i tried to see in the credits because i saw it Charlize Theron's name and I was trying to see if the creditor is Clea because that's kind of who we're thinking mm-hmm. she is but I, I didn't see it in time so I'm not 100% sure on that yeah I assume so yeah I think so I only know it because uh I I somebody referred to her as Clea like in a in a breakdown so in yeah rock stars I think okay yeah I don't know like much about the comics but I do know that they're like love interests or whatever mm-hmm. so I I assume that's her mm-hmm and then uh, we wait through all the credits, and of course, this doesn't surprise me, but the end is just uh, another Bruce Campbell <laughs> punch where he's like, he stops punching himself, and he looks directly down the lens and is like, it's over now. 
<laughs> I thought that was a good middle finger to the audience <laughs> who had to sit through all those credits. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Um, yeah, so they touch on the incursions, which are like a huge story of their own, you know? Like uh, in the comics, there's these beings called the Beyonders who are behind the incursions, actually. <laughs> so it sounds like the incursions are started differently in, in here compared to how they are in the comics. But it, it does make you wonder if they will introduce the Beyonders into this. They did show the uh, Living Tribunal, which was that... Uh, when they were traveling through those different portals, they were like turning into paint and stuff. There was that one moment where you see that giant statue head, like three, it almost looks like three different kinds. I think they were all just they have bright eyes. You only see him for a split second, but that was a living tribunal, and he's also he also plays a role in that storyline. So, no, yeah, we'll see. Oh, what I was gonna say, like, because I watched that What If episode. And basically, that episode ends with that Doctor Strange causing an incursion oh, and right. basically like destroying his universe. And there, that looked just like it, by the way, when him and Christine were shown like entering that. Yeah, which yeah. at first it was like, I like, oh, they did use him, but then he mentions like, oh, in my universe, I went to Christine's wedding and she asked if I was happy, and um, I lied to her and said yes, but like the whole what if thing was like his version of Christine died in the car wreck mm. instead of him. So, like, I don't think it can quite be that yeah. same Doctor Strange because of that. Yeah, and also, that Doctor Strange was extremely powerful. Like, he right. took on all these powers from these beings that, you know, he he was ext- he could defeat himself very easily. Right. Whereas he this one had a, a toe-to-toe, you know, standoff. Right. Um... Yeah, so, like, is there anything else you guys can think of that you'd like to touch on on the movie that maybe we didn't go over? No, I I like the soundtrack. I thought it was, it fit, you know, the movie perfectly. I thought... I did notice, like, um, um, some, like, weird, like, like guitar riffs and stuff built into this. uh, But I think it was meant to be that way, like... Yeah, I think so, too. I really appreciate this movie. I liked how weird it was. It was a lot of fun. It was uh, a little bit of everything, you know? Now, the one thing, you know, when we first learned that, um, uh, you know, Patrick Stewart was going to be in the movie, like, there was a lot of speculation, and I kind of thought it just logically, like, oh, this is how the movie, where they're finally going to kind of explain how the X-Men can finally Um, fit into the MCU, and they don't touch on that at all in this movie. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Marvel saving that, I guess. They still got that bullet in their gun. I don't know how they're going to just... You would think Professor X would be the way they do it, but I think Deadpool might just be. I think they'll go through Deadpool to introduce all the Marvel Cinematic... Or the uh, X-Men characters. Now, uh, you know, John Krasinski was like kind of like a fan casting thing. Like, everybody wanted him and Emily Blunt because they're, like they're married in real life and everything. Now, do you think that since they gave him as Reed Richards, do you think they'll go with Emily Blunt for uh, Invisible Woman, Sue Storm? I mean, she's good, so... Yeah. I, in the comics, Sue Storm's like this blonde woman. Or maybe she'll dye her hair, maybe. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, that's no problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, she puts on an American accent. You know, she's good to go. Yeah, I just uh, didn't know if they'd go that way or not. I'm, I still don't know if they'll use him i kind of think they will i think they will but uh, uh plus fans are like you know all about they want to see him as it seems Jones. like it yeah. it seemed like it it'd be great if rain wilson was one of his enemies <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I saw some people saying that uh pam should be sue storm i don't think they'll, i don't think they'll go that route <laughs> well didn't rain wilson play a superhero in one movie well, he played that movie Super. Well, super, yeah. He didn't have any powers, right? He ran around hitting people with a wrench. Yeah, or yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I pretty much like him in everything. <laughs> Although that movie, and that's a James Gunn movie as well, but like, I, I, I know I watched it, but I don't remember liking it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that it was a great movie. Yeah. Although there were, I, I, I think there were some elements that made me laugh. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure him hitting people with wrenches made me laugh. But. <laughs> All day laughs. laughs. Um, all right. What's your guys' final score out of 10? Man, I really like this movie. I don't know. It just, I just like the weirdness. I love what Sam Raimi does, man. I'm just a fan of his work. 
I got to go 8 out of 10 on this. 8 out of 10. What about you? I think 8's a good number. I'll go a little lower. I'll go 7.2, but I did like it. Mm -hmm. I did like it. And, like, maybe on upon a, another viewing, I'd like it more. But, who, yeah. but uh, yeah, definitely a solid uh, entry in the MCU canon. Um, are you guys excited for Thor Love and Thunder? Yeah, I, I am looking forward to it, man. It's going to be a good movie, I think. Uh, I think Taika Waititi is still directing these movies. So whatever he touches, he seems to be doing good with. So, yeah, I trust him. Yeah, I mean, I think Thor Ragnarok is one of my favorite in the MCU, so uh, hopefully they, they hit it on the head again. Well, guys, we're at about an hour. Oh, oh sorry. I just wanted okay. to add. Um, the, uh, Taika Waititi said that uh, Christian Bale is the best villain he's seen in Marvel movies so far, but they don't show you that in the trailer, and you don't see any Christian Bale. So No, I assume they'll do another trailer where they will show him. Yeah. Um, I mean, it doesn't surprise me, like, Every director is going to say, "Oh, this like Michael Bay is going to be like, oh, this movie is the best one I've ever done." But <laughs> but we've seen Christian, but he is a good actor. He, yeah, he's great. He's great. Yeah, I I, I and, wouldn't be surprised. And Gore is a character. Gore the God Butcher is who the villain would be in that movie. He's a character that you can empathize with, so he's a good villain in that sense. Right. Too. Um. Yeah. I I haven't read those comics in a while, but I remember really liking that run mm -hmm, yeah. with with him in it. Yeah. Um, really strong comics. Um, well, guys, we're at about an hour and 20. Do you want to talk some Moon Knight, or should we save that for the next episode? I'm not prepared to go into Moon Knight. <laughs> yeah, let's save that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk about it when everybody's over it, <laughs> and we forget everything about it. Um, but um, I like doing these reviews. It's, yeah. it's always fun to talk about uh, movies, uh, especially MCU uh, movies. So we'll have to do this again in a couple months yeah. with Thor: Love and Thunder. You know, that movie comes out. I think you know this summer, like July, maybe. I think it's July. Yeah. And it's like usually they would have put out a trailer because this trailer like hasn't been out a super long time, maybe a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. You would have thought they would have put one out quite a bit. Before you know, they normally they normally do, and uh, that was actually something that people talked about here. Like they they really waited a long time to release this. Yeah, uh, I, it makes me think that maybe it's because of like reshoots. They're still editing. They were still working on it until like the very that last could be. minute. That could be. But uh, yeah, I think they have confidence that people are going to be excited about this movie anyway. So you know, they could just release the trailers a little bit late, and that's not a big deal. I think. Oh, we also got a trailer for Avatar 2. Yeah, it looks beautiful. <laughs> I, I want to see it. Yeah. I mean, I, I w it just seems like it's the same story, though. It looks like it's the same story. It looks like But in water. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like, they're throwing plastic in the oceans. <laughs> Rob Schneider is the water. <laughs> All right, guys. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we wrap today's episode up? I think I'm good. I'm good. Well, everybody, thank you very much for watching and or listening. Please um, go ahead and subscribe to the Stand Up, Stand Up Guys on uh, YouTube and also your uh, podcast service of choice. Leave us thumbs up, positive reviews, um, <clears throat> uh, share clips of us online, Tell your grandpappy to watch us. I don't know. Tell everybody to watch us. And why not, why not follow us on Twitter? Guys, where can people find you on the Twitter? At a name for this two, and that's the number two. At unsolicited, S-U-G. And you can, of course, find me at Zach Jones Live. That's Z-A-C-H-J-O-N-E-S-L-I-V-E. And that is going to do it for all of our shenanigans and poppycock this week. Please, please, please tune in again next week. Bye, guys. Take care. Have a good one.